Today I'm sharing 20 Dollar Tree home hacks that you need in your life. Contact lens cases are so versatile. You can pick up a package of five at the Dollar Tree. And of course you can store your contacts in here, but there are so many other items that you can place in these lens cases. The first thing is some lotions and soap. If you are traveling and you just want to take a carry-on suitcase with you, you've got to be aware of the liquids that you take. So what you can do is add some lotion on one side, soap on the other. You could put in some face creams, a small amount of shampoo and conditioner, a little bit of sunscreen. This contact lens case can store items like this so easily. Another item that you could put in these contact lens cases is some jewelry. You could take some necklaces, some thin necklaces, and put them on either side. Separating them would make sure that they didn't get tangled up together. You could also take some earrings or some small studs, cufflinks, small rings, and put those in the slots as well. These contact lens cases are also great for storing a small amount of medicine. You could put some Advil or Tylenol in these. Not only are these great for traveling, but you could also put these contact lens cases in your purse, a diaper bag, or in your car glove box. These contact lens cases are so versatile, compact, and very convenient. Next, I'm gonna show you how to layer necklaces that are the same length. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your necklaces Put them on, put them around your neck and make sure that they are unclasped. Then you're gonna take the claw end of one of the necklaces and attach it to the hooks on the other necklace. So do that for both of your necklaces. Just attach them to the opposite necklace and you can flip them around, turn them around and now you can pull it and look, now you can layer your necklaces to the desired length that you want. You can do it tight, you can do it a little bit longer, but how cool is that? So if you have two necklaces that are the same length, but you want a little variety, you want a different length on them, this is a great hack. My hot glue gun does not have a stand to hold it upright. So I'm always putting it on a plate or propping it up against something. It's really cumbersome and hard to handle, but would you believe that a Dollar Tree binder clip is going to help us out? What I'm gonna do is take this binder clip and turn it on its side. Then I'm gonna get my hot glue gun and put the tip through the metal clip. You have to press it in there fairly hard, but it will hold your hot glue gun straight up. Now I don't have to worry about it tipping or falling over. I can just prop it up on these binder clips and it will hold it upright. Do you need a quick solution for baby proofing? Well, this tension rod is going to help us baby proof our drawers. What I'm gonna do is take the tension rod and size it to the size that will fit from the underside of my countertop to the floor. Then I pulled my cabinets out about a quarter of the way. I took the tension rod and slid it down the center of each of the handles on my drawers. Then I shut the drawers all at the same time. Then I gave the tension rod one final twist to make sure it was really tight. Now my drawers are stuck in place. It's gonna be really hard for those little ones to open these drawers now. If you need a quick solution for baby proofing your drawers, this tension rod is a clever and easy remedy. Do you ever have a pillowcase that is too large for your pillow? It just kind of looks ridiculous. Well, let me show you a quick 10 second hack that will fix that. All you need to do is take the end of the pillowcase. I put the excess pillowcase back inside. I pulled it tightly and flattened it out. Then I could flip it over and it looks like this pillowcase is an exact match for this pillow. So don't worry if your pillowcase does not fit your pillow. This is a great hack that will make it appear like it's the correct size. These Dollar Tree glass cases are another one of those items that are so versatile. So of course you can store your glasses in here, but there are so many more items that you can put in here as well. My daughter loves to color and it is something that keeps her busy when we are running errands, but I don't like to have crayons and glue and all kinds of crafting items scattered throughout my purse. So this is a great way to store those items. What I did was I took some glue sticks, an eraser, some crayons and pens, 
and put them inside of these glasses case. I stack them all in there and then close the case. This is a perfect way to store all of these art supplies. You can put them in a suitcase, a backpack, or in your purse. You can also create a mini first aid kit. I got some antibiotic ointment, batteries, safety pins, band-aids, and a little bit of gauze, and I put them inside of this case. This is an easy way to keep all of those emergency supply items in one easy to locate container. One hair care hack that I have is to make sure that you are using the correct dryer. Now my hair is long, but it's really thin and it breaks off easily. So heat from a traditional dryer just cooks my hair. It is not good for it. So what I've been using is this amazing Zuvi Halo hair dryer. This hair dryer only dries the water droplets on the surface of my hair, which protects my hair's internal moisture, which gives me healthier hair. I've been using this hair dryer for a couple weeks now and I can already tell a remarkable difference. When I dry my hair, I get hot. With a traditional one, do you get hot? Like I feel like I'm sweating at the end. I definitely prefer a much cooler temperature and this is what this hair dryer offers. The temperatures that this dries at is so much cooler. This product uses light care to replicate the natural process of sunrise and wind, which is especially designed to avoid overheating your hair and scalp, preserving moisture that's essential for healthy, beautiful hair. This UV hair dryer is great for those with sensitive scalps as well. And it has a few drying options. It's got care, fast, soft, and style. My ZV hair dryer came with several attachments like a diffuser and they just pop right on. Look at how easy that is. My daughter has naturally curly hair, so she tested out this diffuser. Her hair looked so beautiful by the time it was done. My hair is straight, so using this styling concentrator is fantastic for me. It blows the air in one direction, which is fantastic for getting the style that you want. Using this hair dryer has made my hair feel less brittle, healthier, and shinier. And just because it uses light technology and cooler temperatures does not mean it does not dry your hair fast. I'm in a hurry, I know you guys are in a hurry, but this dried my hair just as fast as a traditional hair dryer. I have some coupon codes for you. Use Lisa12 to get 12% off this hair dryer, or you can use Lisa5 to get 5% off anything on the Zuvi site. All of the links to Zuvi and the coupon codes will be in my description box. So head on over to Zuvi and check out all of their amazing hair care items and select one that will be perfect for you. The frames at the Dollar Tree are one of the most underrated items that they have. I absolutely love the frames that they have there. When I was there the other day, I saw this royal blue frame that had a gold accent around it. I thought it was so pretty. I hadn't seen it before, so I grabbed one of those. I'm always looking for pretty ways to display and organize my jewelry. So this frame is gonna help us to create a jewelry display. The other item that I got at the Dollar Tree was this metal oval. They had a variety of shapes. They had ovals and stars and hearts. And what we're gonna do with our frame and our metal oval is create a magnetic jewelry organizer. The first thing that I did was I cut away the thin rope from the metal oval. Then I got some scrapbook paper. This scrapbook paper matches the frame with that beautiful royal blue, the navy blue, and it has a little bit of gold in it. What I did was I removed the back from my frame and then I took the paper that was inside and put it over my scrapbook paper. Then I got a pencil and I traced around this paper to give me a template. And then I cut out my rectangle. Then I took my metal oval and I put it in the center of this rectangle. I need to cut this oval out, but I didn't want any excess cuts or creases. So what I'm gonna be doing is getting out my self-healing mat and an X-Acto knife. I traced around this oval I took my X-Acto knife and I simply cut along the pencil line and then I removed the oval from the center of the rectangle. I want to adhere my scrapbook paper 
to my metal oval. So what I'm going to be using is some spray glue. I sprayed this glue over the top of the oval. Then I took my scrapbook oval and put it over the metal oval and I pressed them both firmly together. For this project, we do not want the glass in the frame, so I carefully removed the glass. Then I took the rectangular scrapbook paper and hot glued it to the back of the frame. Then I took my metal oval and hot glued that in the center. We want to make it appear like the two separate pieces are one cohesive piece of paper. Then I took the backing and reinstalled it into the frame. To hang my jewelry, we are going to be using these Dollar Tree metal clips. They come in a package of four. I put all four of these magnetic clips on the metal oval. Now I can hang a variety of bracelets on these magnetic clips. You could hang some necklaces. You could also get some inspirational quote or pictures and hang them from these magnetic clips. There's a variety of things that you could display. The second Dollar Tree item that we are going to be adding to our display are these magnetic tins. These are so cool because you can store small items in here like small earrings, studs, little rings. So I added some of those to these magnetic tins and then I placed it directly in the center. Look at how cute this magnetic jewelry display frame is. What a fun and unique way to display a bunch of your items. They stick on there so easily. I mean, they just pop on there. You can move them around a little bit, but I love this. This is a creative way to display your items. This would be a fun project to do with kids. You could customize it and place it in several areas of your home. We are going to be doing more creative hacks with those magnetic tins. They are so cool, so we are gonna take advantage of them. What I did was I printed off a sign that said kitchen closed. Late at night, sometimes my kids need a reminder that snack time is over, so this is a great reminder and we are going to put it on our fridge. So let's make our sign. I cut out the circle and then I took some hot glue and added it around the inside edge of the magnetic tin lid. Then I took my circular kitchen closed paper and placed it in the center of the tin lid. Then I simply placed the tin lid back onto the container. Now I can take my cute little tin sign and put it on the fridge. It will stick on there beautifully. And it's a great reminder to know that we are done eating for the day. Another sign that I've made that I've put in these magnetic tins is a clean sign. I put this on my dishwasher immediately after I start it. In our house, we get a little confused of what's clean and what's dirty when it comes to the dishwasher. So by putting this on there, it's a great reminder to let everybody know it's time to unload the dishwasher. Now my boys are so great at unloading the dishwasher. That's their job. So when they see the sign in there, they know that it's time to unload the dishwasher. You could make a variety of different signs and sayings and place them throughout your house on any magnetic surface. These magnetic signs are cheap, easy, and great to create little reminders and place them throughout your house. As you guys know, I love artificial flowers and I have so many of them. So I'm always looking for different ways to organize and store them. What we're gonna do this time is we're gonna use this tension rod once again. I'm going to put it in my closet in between some shelves. What I did was I sized it to the size that I needed and pressed it firmly into place. Now I'm doing this on my shelf in my cabinet, but if you had some walls that were close together or perhaps like the back side of your closet, you could put this tension rod in there as well. Then I took my artificial flowers and I placed them between the tension rod and the back part of the cabinet. I put several stems in this area and the tension rod will keep your flowers visible. It will also keep them from getting smashed. You could organize them by different color schemes or seasonality. This is a creative, easy way to take advantage of wall space. I love the way that these flowers are stored. They're convenient to access and this was so easy to do. For our next hack, we are still gonna be using a tension rod, but this time we're going to add one of these Dollar Tree shower hooks to it. What I did was I took these hooks and I added some scissors and tape 
and a ruler to the hooks. You could add any kind of crafting item that you want to store. Once all of my crafting supplies were on the shower curtain rings, all I did was I took them and I slid them onto the tension rod. You could add so many of these shower curtain rings to the tension rod. You could store a huge variety of items. Once they were on there, all I did was I took my tension rod and I placed it in that same area between the cabinet. Now I can see exactly where my crafting supplies are. I can easily take them off of the shower curtain ring or off of the tension rod. This is another great hack for crafting organization. I love it when my car smells fresh and clean, but a lot of times I think that those air fresheners that you can purchase at the store have a really artificial smell and I don't really love it all that much. So we are going to make our own car freshener. What I'm gonna do is get a Dollar Tree clothespin, three white pom-poms and some essential oils. First, I'm gonna take my essential oils and I'm going to add several drops to each of the pom-poms. You want to make sure that the scent is strong enough, so add an ample amount. Then I added a line of hot glue to the top of the clothespin and then placed my pom-poms into the hot glue. You guys, this smells so good. And all I have to do now is take it and go put it in my car. You can clip it onto the air conditioning vents. You could put it underneath your seat or the back portion of the floor mat. Instead of smelling harsh chemicals that come from the store-bought air fresheners, now you can make your car smell amazing with essential oils. It really does, it smells so good. This is, this is a great hack, I love this one. Another very versatile item that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree are these carabiner hooks. These are great for so many items. What we're gonna do first is put some hair scrunchies on here. I took a whole bunch of hair ties and put it onto this carabiner hook. My daughter plays tennis and she always needs to put her hair back. And so having some scrunchies easily accessible for her is awesome. So what I did was I took this carabiner hook and I just attached it to her tennis bag. Now she always has easy access to a scrunchie. Another item that you can put on these carabiner hooks are some bracelets or some rings, any kind of necklace, jewelry. That would be fantastic. I slid my bracelets onto this hook and now I can take it and go back to my closet and hang it up on one of the hooks there. If you're low on storage space for jewelry, using a carabiner hook is a fantastic solution. Shoe organizers are great in so many different ways. Of course, you can organize your shoes, but we are gonna use our Dollar Tree shoe organizer to help us pack our suitcase. So what I'm gonna do is lay out my shoe organizer and then get a whole bunch of bathroom items. I put my hair straightener, dryer, soaps, lotion, toothpaste, conditioner, shampoo, all kinds of items in the slots that were meant for shoes. And because these shoe organizers are fabric, I can simply fold it in half, which is a great way to save space. And then I placed it inside of my suitcase. Once I reach my final destination, I can pull this shoe organizer with all of my essentials in it right out and it's already organized and ready to be used. My gift bags and gift paper can get disorganized in a hurry. So today we are going to organize them in a very unique way. What I'm gonna use is a metal pant hanger. I hung up this hanger lengthwise and then I added my gift bags to the metal rods. You can add a whole bunch of gift bags to one of these metal rods and then I draped the gift paper over the remaining metal rods. You could color coordinate these items. You could organize your bags and paper by season. Suspending these items on this pant hanger will keep your bags and paper from creasing, getting tangled up or bent. It's also a very great way to see what kind of bag you have. If you need a birthday bag or if you have a birthday bag, it's great to have everything visible so you can see exactly what you have. This next home hack has been requested by a few of you. So let's put this to the test. It's another jewelry organizer hack and it involves thin necklaces and some regular old plastic straws. So what I'm gonna do is take my necklace, unclasp it, and then slide it through the center of the straw. 
I pulled out the necklace on the other end and then clasped it back together. It worked beautifully for two of my thinner necklaces. I did try and stick a thicker gold chain in there and it didn't work. So it's fantastic for your thin necklaces. This is great to keep them separated. That way they don't get tangled up if you have to put them in your purse or if you're traveling, put them in a suitcase. These straws are fantastic to keep your jewelry organized. So thank you everyone who suggested this. It was a great hack. Well, hopefully one of these 20 home hacks worked for you today. My goal here is to help you live your life beautifully and sometimes a home hack can help you do that. So if you like these hacks and wanna see more like it, I would love to have you subscribe so I could share those with you. Thank you so much for watching.